Welcome back to the show. And if you have been studying or paying attention to the air gun industry as of late, that mid $300 price point, as far as air gun options go, is becoming quite crowded. And not to be left out of this highly functional yet bargain price air gun lineup is Crossman with their brand new Crossman Prospect. This air gun is available in both 177 and 22 calibers. Fully regulated, rifled barrel, as well as a ton of adjustability. This prospect or the Crossman Prospect is going to be a great option for both the experienced air gunner and those who would like to begin experiencing all the fun that you can have with a PCP air gun. Today's show is brought to you in part by Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, Michigan's premier air gun shop, Air Force Air Guns, and Rapid Air Works. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. Now this can't be all work and no play. Before we get down there and showing you groups, I've got some of my favorite targets down there I'd like to use down here at the range. They're super cheap. Guess what they are? Pieces of chalk. So I got some chalk down there. Get up there, shoot some of those real quick. Just kind of get myself warmed up to this. See what we can do. Nothing crazy, just having some fun at the range. What are your fun targets? Put them down in the comments below. Look at that. They're all lined up right there. Poof. Having fun is really what this whole thing is about. We just nicked that one. A little bit off to the, to the left, maybe. I don't know. Uh oh. Uh, that's, uh, that didn't feel good. Got a little crunch in there. Let's try a different one. There we go. <laughs> Especially if you are out taking grandkids or whatever to the range. This is how to have fun reactive targets. Oh, just missed it. And the kids will be talking about that all day long. Again, I am shooting the Crossman Prospect in 22 caliber. Boom. both of them over. All right, let's go clean up that mess and we'll come right back to you and get this thing on target down there, 50 yards. So the Crossman Prospect brings a lot to the table. As I mentioned, it does have that integrated regulator. And although the regulator is adjustable, you're not gonna be able to adjust it without voiding your warranty and taking this air gun, to some extent, apart. Now, is this a bad thing? Thing. Especially if you're new to the air gun industry, you may be wondering this. Well, I have to have an adjustable regulator. And then, in my professional opinion, with this style of air gun, this is not a problem. Why? Well, because the Crossman Prospect has an easily adjustable hammer spring right here in the back. And that is going to really allow you to fine tune or tweak the velocity, define the accuracy you desire in a variety of pellets. So having a regulator is great. Having a regulator that's non-adjustable is not a deal breaker in my mind, especially when you can adjust that hammer spring. Now, not only do you have the hammer spring that you can adjust, but you also, you can see that little silver dot right here, you have a transfer port power wheel that you can adjust things even further. So unless you're planning to take this Crossman Prospect to like a high dollar air gun competition, you're just not gonna need that much adjustment. You're not gonna need to adjust the regulator. Leave it alone. The factory has it set at a good place. Not to mention, it's just one less thing that any of you air gun shooters out there who are just new to the sport, or even those who think they have the abilities to tune an air gun, aren't gonna be able to bugger up because they're not gonna be able to do it right here from outside the stock. And I've seen that happen to a lot of higher dollar air guns where people thought they knew what they were doing. And now the Crossman Prospect also touts a 10-shot magazine, comes with a single-shot tray, 
You got the one half by 20 threaded muzzle down here. You can see I have my moderator. You got a side lever cocking system, all weather stock. So you can take it out to the field and not worry about it. Picatinny, Picatinny scope rails, as well as a two stage trigger, which in my testing right out of the box, had a pull weight of just over one pound. Not bad at all, especially at the $350 price point. Now, being a pre-charged pneumatic pellet pusher, otherwise known as a PCP, we'd be smart to take a closer look at the fill system as well as the onboard air cylinder here that the Crossroad Prospect comes with. Now, it's nice, it does come with a quick fill or quick disconnect fill system, which I personally absolutely love. But something I do want to bring up, one of my viewers recently mentioned in the comments and pointed this out to me that somebody who may have difficulty with dexterity in their hands or may have some sort of disability regarding their hands is not always going to be able to use a quick disconnect and prefers a probe style fill system. So manufacturers, something to keep in mind, just because I really do push this quick disconnect doesn't mean that's going to be for everybody. Now this onboard air cylinder that we have here, it's a small tube, fills up to just over 3,600 PSI. And as this air gun is regulated, that means you're going to get a ton of shots out of this PCP. And this PCP could also be hand pumped. However, if you're looking for something that is going to take the fun out of air gunning, hand pumping your air gun down at the range when plinking is going to do that. So take a look at some of the cheaper compressors that are out there on the market today. Matter of fact, you can check out some of those reviews that I have right up here. Also, since we are talking about the fill system, this onboard air cylinder of the Prospect is regulated. I did want to find out what kind of power and shots I was getting out of it right out of the box. So I did what everybody's doing, their chronograph testing. And honestly, I was really, really shocked. Out of the box, without touching anything other than, yes, I did clean the barrel, I was able to get 46 shots out of this tiny cylinder off of fresh fill. Not only that, but as the data shows, so you can check it out right over here, that that onboard regulator was just as good as any of the other air gun companies or even just regulator companies that are out there. Of those 46 shots, I was shooting 15.89 grain GSP pellets, an average of 839 feet per second. So this gave me about 25 foot pounds of energy, but it only had a standard deviation of just 4.8 feet per second. That's killer, guys. In the air gun industry, PCP market, we're looking at 10 feet per second for a standard deviation. We consider that to be excellent. This crushed it out of the box. And before we get a couple of small hangups that I do have with this air gun, let's chuck out this crossman platform, take it down the range and see exactly where things stand as far as accuracy out at 50 yards. We have finally made it down in the range with the Crossman Prospect 22 caliber, a gun that I have been excited to try out since I heard about it coming out in what, January, I think it was at SHOT Show. Fun little air gun, um, lots of features, got the one half by 20 threaded muzzle down there. And this time I've got an impulse air moderator, which is kind of nice. It has segments so you can adjust the weight at the end of the barrel to really fine tune those harmonics. 3600 PSI air cylinder, hand pump friendly, although I would not recommend it. Again, got the quick disconnect on the end. Love that. Uh, cheek riser here. You've got your easy access to your hammer spring adjustment, side lever, just a nice little air gun for the money. Now I've got a target down there. I've been uh, getting things dialed in with my discovery scope down there at 50 yards. So let's go ahead and put some lead in the barrel and get some lead on the paper down there and see what this air gun can actually do. We are shooting the new Benjamin 22 caliber pellets. Some of you guys probably been wanting to see how they perform before you pick some up. So we figured why not out of a crossman platform, try the Benjamin pellets at 50 yards. There you get an idea, right? See if they are hunting accurate um, or even better. Let's go ahead, 50 yards. Now I've got 
my aim point is much different than my impact point. So don't be surprised when you see that. I'm going to aim at this little corner of the yellow diamond. And we're going to look at the aim point. And you'll see my impact point is definitely different. Hold on. Before I do this, there we go. Let's try that again. So now you'll see my aim point down there is on the yellow diamond. Now that we're recording, and you'll see my impact point will come down here somewhere. So let's go ahead, see what we can get to do for you with a five shot group. There's one. Uh-oh, went sideways. Let's not use that one. Nothing worse than a dented skirt. Oh, goodness. Did find it's a little tight in there for single shot loading, which is what I like to do. Nothing wrong with the magazine, just I like to single shot load. Oh, there we go. Almost hole in hole. Not bad at all. Splitting that group down there. Not a fan of that. We're gonna have to try this again, maybe. Let's try this fish shot. Okay. So there we go. We got a uh, decent little group. Let's try one more. I just cleaned this barrel not too long ago. So the process of letting in a barrel, that's what you're kind of seeing here, maybe. Um, especially when it's spot on clean, like we try to do before we shoot these air guns here for the videos. So let's go ahead and shoot on this right corner now. <laughs> That's getting there. That's getting there. Love that. Again, these are the new Benjamin pellets. Really not bad. Very impressive so far. Five shot group, 50 yards with some Benjamin pellets. What's not to like? Let's take this camera, head down there so you can see exactly what we're talking about. Let's go ahead and unscrew this. 50 yards down there. Let's see, do I have, I felt like I had some coins here. Maybe they're in my pocket. I don't know, maybe not. Hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. We got a diamond or a penny and a quarter. Let's walk down there, see what we got. now. You don't see a lot of people shooting the Benjamin pellets yet, but you know, I was talking to Benjamin and Crossman in the process. They are really producing some very, very precise and very well made pellets with those Benjamin line. It's almost like, um, you remember the old, old brown box pellets from Crossman? If you guys have been shooting as long as I have, I consider them kind of within that range of pellet. Uh, really, really nice. Let's go ahead, flip this around so you can see now. We've got, uh, there we go. This is me over here just kind of getting things dialed in. Here, here we go. So we got the first group. We have two and three. All right, and then afterwards, we started getting things worked out. Look at this. So that's, uh, let's go ahead and cover that. Let's try that with a penny. See what we got. I'd say that is easily a, 
penny size group. What do you think? Dang, I don't know about you, but I really found those groups to be impressive, especially for an air gun of this price point coming right out of the box. And I've actually had worse groups from air guns that are twice as expensive. So Crossman Prospect, kudos to you. I did clean this barrel, so make sure if you pick one up, you do the same or else you may not get those same results. All right, as you guessed, there are some hangups that I have with the Crossman Prospects. Not a perfect platform, but it's very good. So what are those hangups? First and foremost, I think that the platform relies way too heavily on both Phillips heads and slotted screws. You got slotted screws down here for the cheek piece, which is adjustable, by the way. And I would just rather see those be hex keys of some sort, uh, metric, you know, Allen keys versus those slotted keys. These just get buggered up and they don't look good when they are after a while. So, you know, especially with heavy use areas like this cheek piece riser, let's get those switched out, put some hex keys up in there or some Allen key type screws and move along. Second of all, the safety. The safety is great, by the way. It's right here in front of the trigger. I love it, very similar to a raw trigger type of safety, but it's made out of stamped steel. I would have preferred to see something maybe just out of solid, you know, solid steel versus something that is stamped like this. My final gripe about this is the transfer port. Now I'm going to turn this around here so you can see it. The transfer port is a great feature to have as far as being adjusted, but it's just a little bit spongy and I don't feel like it's repeatable. Uh, I would like to see that have some dentins in there so we could have you know, different specific levels, like five or six different levels in there so we could click it and know that we were set at the same pot spot each and every time just for consistency purposes. But overall, it's a great air gun. The Crossman Prospect is going to be budget friendly. It appears, at least in the model I have, is going to be pretty darn accurate, especially with a variety of pellets because I found both JSB and the new Benjamin pellets that I have right here to be plenty accurate and it's going to provide tons of fun. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. If you have personal experiences with a Crossman prospect like this, tell us about them down in the comments because, you know, this is a, a group learning exercise. It's not just my opinion that matters. Everyone has an opportunity to voice those opinions down below. And until next time, make sure those trigger pulls stay smooth, your pellets fly straight, and we're going to see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.